Hey everybody, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are telling the stories and preserving items. This week's item is this hat that matches so beautifully with this shirt. <laughs> um, this hat actually is your typical Scottish Rite cap, uh, given to all 32nd degree Masons at your reunion. Uh, and I shouldn't say given to all. Um, it doesn't necessarily happen in the uh, northern jurisdiction as, as much as it does in the southern jurisdiction. Um, when you go to the southern jurisdiction, it's a sea of black caps and some purple, some white hats, uh, some yellow, some red, some blue. Uh, up in the northern jurisdiction, these are uh, were, according to most of what I've seen, is largely for uh, hospitality to wear. Uh, this particular hat, uh, the history behind it is interesting. Uh, visited the Valley of St. Louis a few years ago to uh, to join down there and check out the Southern Jurisdiction reunion and watch the degrees and see the different stylings. Um, and I was approached and said, hey, brother, where is your cap? And I said, well, I, I really don't have one. And they said, oh, that's okay. And I kind of felt out of place. So um, I stopped by. They have a little shop there at the Valley of St. Louis. And it was run by a, a, a brother and his wife who are just the best and uh, I was looking for a hat to fit my head, and I could only find like an eight or like a six and a half. Um, I'm a seven and a half, and I couldn't find one. So I was just going to bite the bullet and buy this size eight hat. And uh, it looked like a huge crown on my head. Like it sat really high, and it was kind of like wide and huge. And um, not that this looks much better, but uh, I was just going to buy bite the bullet and buy this $8 hat, or this uh, this size eight hat for like 30 bucks. But I decided, well, if I'm going to buy the hat, you know, I got to drive four hours home. I want to keep it safe. And I always want to keep my Masonic stuff uh, appropriately stored. And so, you know, I was looking for one of these really nice um, hat boxes. And when you open them up, they're really nice. They're silk lined and they've got a nice thing there to set up and keep, make sure the, the hat keeps its shape. And so it was really cool. And so I found this one and, and it was like 15 bucks. Um, but what was crazy was I opened it up and... Actually, this hat was inside. And what was cool about that was I, I found out that it was a size seven and a half, my exact size for a Scottish Rite cap. And also um, the name of Richard A. Sopp, St. Louis, Missouri. Now the name doesn't mean anything particularly to may maybe any of you or to me for that matter. Uh, but what was kind of serendipitous was the fact that I needed a hat. I found it in the box that I wanted. And rather than buying a brand new hat, I was able to honor a brother by continuing to wear his hat. Uh, so if you're a brother and you're watching this show and, and maybe you know of or you knew um, Richard A. Sop, um, just know that I have this hat and... Um, I wear it every time I go to the Scottish Rite, Southern Jurisdiction, uh, and I wear it in honor of, of this brother. And anytime anybody, uh, you know, says, hey, where'd you get your hat? Or, you know, when, when did you come in? I, I make sure I tell them the story about this hat and, and how I came across it. And that's it. So I'll talk to you guys all real soon. Take care.